Hello, besiegers. How you doing? Okay, uh, this is for ITR's monthly challenge over at Spiderling. Um, we were told to build a crane this month, and uh, so I thought I would start off building the most minimalist crane that I could think of. One block wide, one block deep, and a few blocks high. And, this is it. and that explosion was about the most exciting thing about this crane. So I thought I would build something a bit bigger. That's more my style. And uh, I started out with this fella here, which I quite liked. But the overhanging weight causing it to sag a lot and I hadn't even started loading it yet so I thought no, we'll go for something more adventurous but a little bit older in style we'll go for this uh, I don't know what you would call it but it's um, it's kind of old fashioned I think, style they used to make them something like this it's got a nice big broad circular base that turns about underneath it and it's got the jib which goes out way out uh, the, and the counterbalance works its way back more slowly than that um, balancing it out so that's the whole idea. It's just like it happens on a real crane, you know, it sort of figures its way out. Also, it can do this. Hey, hey. Um, so it's just a bit of nonsense. Anyway, let's get down to some serious craning. Right, now, I thought we needed a challenge for the crane itself. It needs to do a job of work. So what we thought we would do is we'll... This truck here's got explosives on it. We've got to take the explosives, a grenade and a bomb, off of the truck, put it into the tower, clear the area destroy the tower with just one bomb so that all the pieces are left close by and then load some of the pieces back up onto the truck. Uh, how hard could it be? Um, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, turns out it is really hard and I've got an awful lot of respect for crane drivers after making this and trying to control this thing. Oh, it swings about like crazy. I've discovered that the first thing you've got to do is you've got to keep the hook right up at the top when you're moving it about. If you don't do that, then you just build in lots of swing into it and it's, you have to wait forever for it to slow down. So I don't know how professional crane drivers do it, but it's really difficult. So here we go, we've got the first one going in. We'll just drop the grenade in because it's not fragile. And then we go after the bomb, uh, which is fragile. And take a bit of time because you can't touch the sides of this thing. you really got to be as careful as you can. So I've edited out some of the swings and there was a few. So it takes a steady hand and eye. Um, I've reduced the, the, the speed on the crane so that it doesn't swing about too violently but at the same time you can only reduce it so far or else it gets really boring to use but here we go we'll drop the bomb down nice close up view and uh, that's it, grenade sitting waiting I love grenades, it's just so good there you go drop it down and now we'll just clear the area and see how we get on um, so this month's challenge was quite good. Um, I'm starting to go right into this thing over over in Spiderling. If you're a besieger yourself, if you actually make stuff, you should go and check it out. It's really good. Um, there's more and more people joining in, and everybody votes at the end of the month for what we're going to do next. So it's pretty cool. It's good to have something to aim for. Right, here we go. Let's blow this baby. Truck runs over a few more people on the way out. Site safety is a, an issue here. And boom. There we go. So a nice, neat, controlled explosion, uh, move back in and start picking up the pieces. There we go. I just made a basic truck. I wasn't being anything special. I wasn't going to spend much time on that. And I wanted to keep the block count low. Uh, so, so I don't even think it's 300. I think it's really, really quite low. It looks big, but there's not a lot to it. Uh, that's quite good. So I'll put this up to download on uh, Besiege Downloads and the workshop. Have a go with it. It's a lot of fun. It really is. It really is. And go over and check out the, the other entrance as well. There's lots of cool stuff already up there. Some really good cranes and some really good ideas. Okay. This was a partial success, this part. Uh, that one went okay. The next one fell off, <laughs> fell off because I put it on wrong. And then the third one uh, was fine. And then we are away. So that was about it. Um, it's a good build, I enjoyed it. Got the whole thing done in under a day, and so it's it's really it's really quite good. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm not sure what I've got on next. I think I'm going back to train soon, um, and then I'm on holiday for a while, so I won't be putting up any. So I'm going to put up two or three rapid just now. Um, I hope some of you download this because this is a lot of fun. This one, it really is. It's great, and that should be about it. And away we go. Oh, I thought it was going to fall off the back now. I don't know how those tyres get so red. Hmm. So, uh, just one last spin round before we go. 
And uh, and I'll leave you with that because I like a bit of destruction on the way out. Look at that. It's oh, lovely. <laughs> you have no idea how much fun that is until you actually try it yourself. Okay, thanks. Bye. See ya. <laughs>